Did you know that you can use your Phantom Expert with one of the most affordable and common batteries on the market? Let's go see it! Today we're going to use the new battery adapter of Airbus Instruments. This will allow me to use the 5th generation Phantom Expert with a clock battery, the CR2477 battery. We're going to need a tweezer, preferably small ones, a torque 10 safety screwdriver, and the adapter. The adapter has three parts, the battery holder, this external bracket, and a ribbon of approximately 7 cm. First we're going to remove the phantom cover. Now we're going to remove the old battery. We use the ribbons and remove it carefully to avoid damaging the sensor. We need to be extra careful at the end. The battery should not come up all at once. Slowly remove it so you don't damage the flat cable that is inside the sensor. Once the battery is out of the sensor, you can remove the ribbon. Then use both hands to remove the lock that holds the flat cable. And then use the tweezers to carefully remove the cable. Now we're going to attach the battery adapter. First, we must cross the ribbon on the external bracket, like this. I'm going to make sure that the ends of the ribbon are at the same distance, so it will be easier to use. Now we must place the external bracket in the battery holder. See that the flag section of the battery holder is facing the bracket. The free piece of the bracket goes to the part that is marked with a cross on the battery holder. Just like this. Once you place the bracket on the battery holder, we're going to use the lock of the adapter to connect the flat cable. Use the tweezers and your hands to connect it. Then close the locks as it was on the old battery. To insert the adapter into the Phantom, make sure that the reset hole of the sensor is aligned with the read switch device of the battery. The read switch is a device that allows you to reset the sensor with the magnetic key. The white part should be pointing towards the reset hole, inserted in this way in the Phantom. Before closing the Phantom, we're going to check if everything is ok. We are going to reset the Phantom with the magnetic key. If the green LED lights up, then everything is good, so we can close the sensor. So now, we put the cover back on the Phantom. Once we close it, we are going to check one more time if the sensor is resetting with the magnetic key. Just to check that everything is in order. If you want to purchase your own adapter, leave us your information in the comment and we will contact you very soon. If you have any questions or troubles to use the adapter, please contact our technical support team.